Good afternoon to all the headmen, respected Srita ma'am, Devinder ma'am, Rajin ma'am, Hedwig ma'am, Srita Dingra ma'am, and Gupinder ma'am. Today we are here. Today we are here to conduct the activity assigned by DSEJ Culture Wing is declamation on topic in Asia. For this we have eight speakers from four different houses and. For this competition, first of all, I would, I would like to invite Jyoti from Eco House. Good afternoon to honorable headband, respected teachers, and my dear school fellows. My name is Shahid Shah Jahan. Today, the topic of my speech is about Kailash Yatra. The very idea behind a pilgrimage is fundamentally to subdue the sense of who you are. It's to become nothing in the process of just walking and living and subjecting yourself to various arduous processes of nature. So these places of pilgrimage in the ancient past were always located in such places where a person has to go through a certain amount of physical, mental and every kind of hardship to get there. So that in the process he becomes less than who he thinks he is right now. Standing tall at 22,000 feet, Mount Kailash, known to be the abode of Lord Shiva, is one of the world's most revered falling places. A peak in the Kailash range, Mount Kailash is a part of the Kanchimaya in Tibet. Courts say its high altitude and remote location in Tibet Western. Only a few thousand pilgrims are able to do the Kailash Mansore Yatra every year. The Yatra is mainly known for two things, doing the Parikrama of Mount Kailash from Belpi's house, I would like to call her. A very good afternoon, I'm my teacher and my dear friend. I'm Harish from class and I'm here to tell you something about Kailash Yatra. If you can really be with Kailash ever for a few moments, life will never again be the same for you. It is a phenomenon behind all human imagination. Mount Kailash is a state period place of Asia and lies in the southwest of Tibet, autonomous region of China Nagari Tauri, 6,740 meters and 22,000 feet above the Tibetan Sahi. Anti Kailash is a state and venerated pilgrim site for Buddhist, Hindu and Jain, according to Hindu mythology. Lake Mansarovar and Mount Kailash are believed to be the abode of Shiva. This is where the holy river Ganga is, is believed to be named by Shiva and sent to nourish the fertile valleys below the Himalayas. There are many places in which you go and enjoy its beauty. Mount Kailash, Lake Mansarovar, Yamdubar, Pashupatinath, Temple, Gavi Kund, Triputa Buri, Om Parvat, Rakshatal. The oldest... Good afternoon to all of you. Today we are discussing the Kailash Mansarovar Yatra. Mount Kailash 
is a scared pilgrimage place of Asia and lies in the southwest of Tibetan autonomous region of China Nagri, towering 6,740 uh, 6, meters above the Tibetan plateau. Mount Kailash is a scared pilgrimage site for Buddhist, Hindus, and Jains. According to Hindu mythology, Mount Kailash is the abode of Lord Shiva. Legends have it that immortal Shiva lives on the top of the house. Next is Janki from Wisdom House. Good morning. Good afternoon. I am Janki from Class 10. Today I want to share my views on the topic Kailash Yatra. The place where Lord Shiva resides, Kailash is not Mount Kailash, but is very man pure soul. Mount Kailash is the most sacred mountain in Asia, as the tallest among the surrounding mountains. It stands alone here within the Himalayas. It's the highest, greatest journey, and it is my also connect to the hard work, well working.